What's up, everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti, and I wanted to do a video on the state of the craft brewing industry. Over the weekend, I found out that two of my favorite breweries in Ohio are both closing down. Ice Tier Brewing, which is a phenomenal brewery over in uh, Bowling Green, Ohio, and R. Shea Brewing down in Akron, Ohio. Now, if you watch me or you watch Beer David TK, some of the other guys, we've done a lot of videos on these breweries. They're phenomenal breweries, make amazing beers. It's really sad to see that breweries that are making quality beers just can't stay open in this economic climate. And these guys have been beat up and battered by one thing after another. I mean, they somehow survived the pandemic just to be crushed by the terrible economy we've had for the last four years or so. And it's really sad. And, you know, Ohio has over 400 breweries. And with almost 8 million people that are above the age of 21... That's roughly one brewery for every 20,000 people. And when you look at the stats for the whole U.S., it's right around 10,000 breweries, give or take. And with roughly 196 million people over the age of 21, that's still right there in that 20,000 breweries. Uh, 20, 000, one brewery for every 20,000 people. So Ohio's right there in the, in the average range for the country. And I'm sure this is the case all over the country. I mean, last year in 2023 started this apocalypse in craft brewing. Over 385 breweries shut down, and it's the most in the modern era of, of, of brewing. And it's just sad to see. Now, some of these breweries, they weren't in the right location, or their beers weren't good. Uh, There's a couple of breweries last year that were near and dear to me, which closed down for personal reasons. Uh, my old roommate from college, he had a brewery, Finley Crafted, and unfortunately, he had to shut the doors Last year, sad to see. I really like supporting his brewery. I mean, he's a friend of mine. I've known him for 20 plus years. And it's unfortunate. But sometimes things in your personal life or, or, or other things out of your control come into play. And the other problem is for a lot of these breweries is the skyrocketing costs. I mean, costs have gone through the roof in the last couple of years since the pandemic. So they come out of the pandemic and they've survived and think they've made it. And then costs just go through the roof. And the only thing they can do is pass the costs off to the consumer, which sucks. So beer prices are gone through the roof. I mean, now we went to the beer store the other day, uh, TK and I did, and there's four packs going for $40, $50. I went to Rosie's last week, and there was a bottle of Anchorage Brewing, 12-ounce bottle, excuse me, 12-ounce bottle for $65. Now, that's just insane. I mean, it's ludicrous. I'm sure most, most of you out there are feeling the impact of inflation in the economy. You don't have as much uh, discretionary income as you used to. You can't buy as much beer as you used to. And when you're looking at $65 beers, $40 four-packs, it's just not going to happen. And that really sucks because costs have gone so up that, that breweries have to do that. And it's really crushing these breweries, especially these small breweries. Another thing that's gone on is some breweries like Arche. They're not prognosticators. They can't see the future. 2018, they start making plans, 2019, to do an expansion. And they're in the middle of an expansion, and all of a sudden the pandemic hits. And then what do you do? And then they've just never been able to get out from under that, that decision. And at the time, it was a great decision because the craft beer industry was booming, and it just looked like it was going to continue on. But now you get pummeled by the pandemic, and then the economy just tanks terribly in the last four years. And what are you going to do? And they have to close down. Another problem is, for some reason, whatever it is, the trend is for the 20-somethings, they're not drinking beer anymore. They're going for the non-alcoholic beverages. They're going for the alcohol pops, the alcoholic waters, um, anything but beer, which is also hurting a lot of these breweries. And you, you couple that in with some of these things like Dry January and that kind of stuff, and it's just the death knell for a lot of these breweries. And it sucks because these breweries put out phenomenal beers. It's just they can't be sustained in this economy, and it's terrible. And so, like, like I said, Ice Tier went there Saturday because it's the last time I'll ever get to go to that place, and it's sad. I really like them. Rocking the Ice Tier glass, and I'm drinking the Dullahan Came to Party. It's a pumpkin coconut cream pie seltzer. And that's one of the things they were trying to do to keep afloat. They were trying to get in the seltzer game, do some of these other alcoholic drinks that aren't beer just to attract and keep those customers. Because I know, again, a lot of people aren't drinking beer anymore. But if you're out there and you're a craft beer enthusiast, you like craft beer, please go support your local breweries. 
even if you're doing like a dry January, you're not drinking it much anymore, go take your friends, your family, whatever. A lot of these breweries do phenomenal food. They have great kitchens and they're really nice restaurants overall. Go there and just have dinner. You don't have to drink. Just go have dinner. Support them any way you can. If you got an extra five, ten bucks, just go buy a beer from the brewery once in a while. Or buy a t-shirt. I mean, whatever. But if we don't support these breweries out here, they're going to disappear. And nobody wants to go back to the days when all we had was Bud Miller Coors and maybe a couple of imports like Heineken and Stella. Because those were the dark ages. And I have a feeling that this is not over for the craft brewery apocalypse. So again, go visit a brewery. Go have dinner at a brewery. Go pick up some beers from your local brewery. And as always, please go embrace that adventure. Thanks for listening to me.